Welcome back, everybody. I'm Edwin. And I'm Joseph. And this is Edwin, Edwin and, and Joseph, Joseph Talks. Talks. So, today's video, which I think I'm kind of finding my little area here, so when we separate with the videos, probably going to go down like the more, not necessarily paranormal road, but just, you'll, you know what I mean. <laughs> I so, <laughs> I'm going to talk to you about something that happened back in 2017, okay. and it'll tie into something that happened recently. So, back in November of 2017, researchers off the coast of Portugal found what is known as a rare frilled shark. Now, a frilled shark, which I have a picture of right here, so everybody can see. <laughs> Is that no that's not the real picture. We got a picture for you guys, but that's that's not it. So <laughs> he so, did that on lunch, guys. That's what I do with my time. <laughs> so a frill shark is actually considered to be a living fossil. Okay. These things, um, they're odd looking. Um I showed you a picture, I'm not gonna mention what you say it looked like, but we'll get a picture of that up for you guys. Um Anyway, so they're, they're weird looking, and when scientists were studying this thing, they found out that its existence dates back to 80 million years ago. So this is around the time we had Tyrannosaurus Rexes walking around, and Triceratops, and all that Jurassic Park stuff. Okay. Okay? So these guys that, that ended up videoing it because they, they, um, they were filming underwater, and it just so happened to swim by their camera. And what they were doing was they were down by the coast of Algarve. I think I'm pronouncing it right. I'm sorry if I'm not to the people of Portugal. Um, but they discovered why they were filming a project to minimize unwanted catches with commercial fishing. I guess they were out there fishing and catching stuff they weren't supposed to. Mm -hmm. So they were out there with BBC trying to um, like minimize all that illegal activity stuff. And while their camera was down there in the water, this crazy looking shark that it's literally just a big flat head. <laughs> okay. I'm kind so of worried about describing this. No, it's okay. <laughs> when he showed me the picture, it looked like a penis with some, some like fans off the head of it. And I was like, oh, okay. That's Next. funny because I was going to say that it's like a big, long, flat head with a shafty body, but <laughs> besides that, it is. Yeah, right. <laughs> so when they were, when they started studying it after they came across it, they were finding it to live anywhere between 390 to 4,200 square feet below the surface. So that's deep, deep down there. Um, and they also noticed its diets consist of 61% of cilio ciliopods which are squids and octopuses is mainly what it ate. Okay. Um, they grow about six and a half feet long and believes to have a gi gestation period of 42 months. What does that mean? Uh, kind of. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. I did not reach your set part. All right. Well, I did know, but now you drew me the blank because now I'm like, well, f I mean, <laughs> he put me on the spot. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna I didn't mean to out. put him on the spot. But... <laughs> anyway, so why am I talking about this? Let's just, let's, just get, let's just get through this. Why did I bring up such an odd sea creature? Well, as recently as February the 13th of this year, 2020, okay. uh, researchers off the coast of Mexico. Um, it's what I call... A weird ass dolphin. Yeah, he showed me a picture. It was, it, it was. Dead. Well, I got an explanation of here. We'll we'll put a picture up for you guys, and then I got some a little description right okay. here. So, the dolphin looks like a giant seaman. <laughs> Has no eyes and some jagged teeth. It looks just like that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> It looks you, like you're gonna call the other one a penis, but this one you're like, oh, this is semen. The ocean is very sexual. <laughs> All right. So, and from what I see, there's no fins, so no eyes, no fins, jagged teeth, and it's shaped like a navy man. So locals actually ended up finding <laughs> <laughs> locals ended up finding this weird ass dolphin like washed up on the shore. 
and they would just kind of walk by it thinking it was just a regular dolphin that just you know got assured and just died there well they started taking pictures of it more and more people started walking by it and started taking pictures and that's when they noticed that it was like you know weird looking um they found it off the shore of this destaleras uh, beach in mexico they started interviewing a bunch of fishermen and seeing you know hey have you seen this before no fisherman that they interviewed has ever seen one you know why they were out there um but they do the fishermen were telling they do believe it comes from really deep in the ocean there is a part um there's a part of the 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 marine area there that drops to like thousands and thousands of feet below and because the dolphin has no eyes they somehow they seem to think that that means it comes from the deeper parts because it's dark so therefore you don't need eyes which is kind of a weird thing though i mean yeah i know evolution works in a weird way yeah i mean but, i can see how they they can think that yeah yeah but um uh puerto but i'm not even gonna try to pronounce that right now they found it off a port by this other beach in mexico um but that's that's where they think it comes from so now when when i first started talking to you about this before we started filming the video and stuff you mentioned something that could be a possibility for the dolphin as well and that would be radiation mm -hmm. now as far as i know um i haven't heard of any radiation spills near mexico but there was that huge one in japan that spilled into pacific ocean i'm just not sure if that would travel far enough or maybe the dolphin came from that area and you know mutated with the radiation there yeah it's when you have stuff like that it's it's kind of hard if you can't pinpoint a specific i'll say breed of say dolphin right where it has no eyes it's found in the deep you find more you know that it's it keeps going on, on its heritage almost. right uh, to where I seen a, a photo, and I didn't even know if it's real, but I seen a photo where they were talking about a dog that was a cyclops, and it's a genetic mutation. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, um, there was a cow I got too. Wasn't it a little calf? It might have been a calf. Oh no, 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 no! It was a horse. It was a little baby horse. Okay. And it had yeah. the one giant eyeball. Yeah. So. You know, there's rarities, and it happens with humans, it happens with every breed of life, where there's genetic mutations like that, and something will happen. Could this have been a one-off thing? Are there more of them? That's where scientists and researchers really have to look and to see if there's more of these. Well, you remember... Okay, you you you've seen the things on Facebook where people are talking about like, oh, you know, the Simpsons predicted the future and blah 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 mm -hmm. blah. So I had just read one a couple of days ago actually, where um, you remember the episode where Bart called caught Blinky the three eyed fish? Yeah, the three headed fish. That's in that's on video games. It's in in a lot of Simpsons lore. Well, yeah. when I was reading the little story about how you know they somehow magically predict the future or whatever. There was actually a story of a guy, it was like five or six years after that episode aired. He was down somewhere in South America. I can't remember what area of South America, but he was fishing. Mm -hmm. And he ended up catching a three-eyed fish. Yeah. And I was like, well, that's kind of weird. But then you never heard of anybody catching another three-eyed fish. So it's... Um. I, I've known of cases like that, three-eyed fish, uh, frogs with multiple limbs, stuff Two like that. Two-headed snakes. But a lot of the ones that I've known of had to do with some type of pollution or ra radiation or something that caused them to have a genetic morph. Which is what you're yeah. assuming happened with this dolphin and creature. It could be, I mean, I don't know. It's it, We only have one. There was only one of them. Did they get DNA samples? Did they are they able to do proper uh, you know testing on it? They probably didn't. By the time people scientists even got the pictures, it was probably 
long gone, started being decayed, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, see, and where I got my research from, I didn't read anything about any kind of tests um, or stuff being done. Now, the, the first first case you uh, talked about... Um, the shark. The shark. To me, that's the biggest example, like, example of... If we were to have like a Loch Ness, how would it be possible? Living deep underwater and yeah. just kind of out um, of nowhere. Now, for some of you out there, since I said Loch Ness before I turn up the can of worms, I don't know if it's out there. Honestly, that's not one thing I really care about. Um, whether it's there or not, it's not going to matter in my life. And to be honest, I mean, if, if there was a Loch Ness creature, and I'll say creature, I'm not going to say monster. Um, more than likely it would be the same scenario as the shark where it's a dinosaur that we just somehow mix. Well, I mean, if you look at the pictures, it looks like, um, it looks not, like those long neck. Yeah. I would have to look up, I would have to look this up, but there's a specific dinosaur that basically it looks just like, um, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I just yeah. can't remember the name. So... In those instances, we know that stuff like that maybe can occur, uh, especially in the deep seas. Because with the deep seas, that's what survived through the ice ages, through all the time and all the craziness that the world is having. Deep down under, that's what survived, you know? Well, I mean, I think a lot of people forget, too, because, I mean, they'll be quick to judge, like, oh, you know, that washed up, it's just, you know, it's fake, it's this. There's only, like, a certain percentage of our ocean that we've ever explored, and I think it's a small percentage, like, somewhere between, like, 10 and 25% of it is all that's been explored, that's, and that's all that's we know true. about. It is. We've looked at, if you look at the grand scale of our ocean, the surface... We've seen a lot. Right. Just underneath the surface, we've seen a lot. Going deep, we've seen... Uh, think of it like shafts going down. We've seen certain areas of a lot of deep exploration. But we haven't done that with the whole world. We've never mapped out just the very bottom and ran through the whole world that way. So there's a lot of things that we're missing. And we'll probably never see a lot of it because it's it's hard to get down there. You know, people themselves can't go that deep because the pressure of the water starts, you know, it'll kill you. And as far as I know, the, the only subs, even if it's um, unmanned, they can only go so far before they start messing up. A lot of them can go super deep, but the problem with sending that is the money to do it. Yeah. Um, that's a lot, a lot, a lot of money just to even, if you were to take it as simple, we're just going to go to the very bottom of this part of the ocean. That's still a lot of money because you're, you're hiring a boat, you're hiring crew, you're hiring the person to run what you're doing. You know, there's a lot to go in it. Plus the cost of the actual machine that's going down there. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of variables that just kind of keep us from that. You know, everybody talks about going to Mars. I always say, let's figure out what's on this Earth first. Uh, there's still a lot of stuff we haven't really uncovered, if you will. There's tons, tons of stuff, whether it be in the ocean and the deserts and the jungles, you know, you, you've heard me say we're we're a planet of amnesia yeah um you know there's a lot of stuff that we've forgotten about that's happened within our time thousands of years that you know underneath everything is still there um whether it be creatures of some sort to just our past so yeah Kind of went on a different note on that one. No, but hey. I mean, it kind of tied into it because <laughs> we don't know where these yeah. penis sharks are coming from and we don't know what else is out there. Yeah, I mean, there, there's a ton of stuff. I remember hearing about the the huge squids 
Yeah, where they thought it was a myth and all that, and then they finally came they across finally how came across big yeah. these things are too. They seen one, they're like, "Oh, this is, this is probably fake." And then all of a sudden, they started to see more and more because they started doing research on it. Yeah, yeah, and then that's where they, um, that's where they assume like the whole origin of like the Kraken and stuff came from, from you know back in the day when, and and I think we talked about it one time. I'm not sure if it was on video or not, but you know the map and how back in the day you would always see like the ships and then uh, you would see i think it's on one of the videos that we haven't got to release yet okay yeah. yeah so there was a video where we talked about maps and you see the um like the old drawings and they have you know they have the continents and stuff and then you always see like weird creatures placed everywhere so i mean yeah it was it was when we were talking about christopher Columbus and the uh, uh the mermaids yeah the mermaids the damn mermaids that's on another video um should be out before this one should so. be yes <laughs> <laughs> so what's your thought on this guys uh hit us up what do you think what do you think's out there do you think there's stuff we haven't came across why is the ocean so sexual with its animals penis sharks and sperm dolphins <laughs> You'll understand. Uh, by now, if you've already seen the pictures, you'll understand. <laughs> uh, like, comment, subscribe. I took your part so you close this out. And with that, guys, have a good day tonight.